Hey, 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 look at here, look at here. Today, this is my Sunday Easter dinner. Bam. I'm making a recipe I saw off of, uh, where did I see this? On YouTube. The guy that I follow, smoking and grilling with AB. His food looks bomb. So today, I'm going to make this word for word like he do it. Taste it. Get it to my little tasting and the way I like to eat stuff might be a little bit spicy, but I'm gonna make that today and I'm gonna walk y'all through the process of me making this recipe. Hey, I don't eat pork, so my stuff will be chicken and dewy, chicken and regular shrimp in it. I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do it like I like it, the way I like it to taste. You know what I mean? But I'm going to do a few clips. It might be a little quick video to show you. This ain't no instruction video. I'm just going to show you something that I'm eating today. Because uh, people seem to love seafood. And I like it too. For sure. So here's what I got chopped up so far. Got my onion. My bell pepper. My red bell pepper. And my celery right there. Right in here I'm using this andouille chicken sausage. Got the chicken tenderloin right there spin back over here see that basket full of junk food and then right over here I got I'm browning some garlic off in here let me get this garlic out of here real quick Hold yeah on. I'm back I got a little olive oil I had a little garlic and I'm trying to get the olive oil with a little flavor I didn't have a branch and vine that he had I got two cups right here I got two cups of rice I'm gonna pour it in there with that olive oil. I had like maybe two tablespoons of olive oil. He says stir it and let it get going in here and caramelize a little bit so it can taste like uh get that garlic infused taste in it. I'm getting ready to do that. Stirring in. I'm going word for word like A B. Then I'm gonna post it on Instagram and uh tag him in it just like he said tag him in it and see what he says about see what he says about it. So let me get this going. Get this uh, stirred. And it does kind of look like popcorn, like he said back in the day. Now they got it in bags, so we don't do that. So we're going to keep this going and stir it. Let me get that. Go right there for, for a hot second. Let me cut the light on so you guys can see it. Yeah, cut the light on. And then you can see it a lot, see it a lot better. And uh, yeah, keep it stirred around. I'm going to keep stirring it. And then uh, I got some red. I'm just going to put, it was uh, two cups of rice too. I made quite a bit of rice because what the rice I got left over, I think I'm going to make, I'm going to make some, some uh, fried rice with it maybe tomorrow or the next day, whatever I got left over. Some chicken fried rice. That's my plan anyway. So I'll be right back in a minute. Well, I added a pinch of, pinch of salt, like he said, and uh, put some fresh, ground fresh ground pepper off in there still got it going real low and uh seeing what it's gonna do like i said i'm just following the recipe to see how how this turns out turns out on easter dinner i also got some steaks and some barbecue uh barbecue bologna beef bologna that i'm on on cook just in case i don't do good on this but i know that i'm pretty good at at the sh at cooking so I'm not worried about it how it turned out it's gonna turn out very much edible and we gonna smash it hello world hey hey here we go I'm back at it I got the rice going garlic rice I infused it in rice infused the rice and with that garlic and now I got it going I got actually two cups of rice with four four and a quarter cup of water so we're gonna let that Go boil and simmer. I'll put the top on there in a minute to the Dutch oven. And over here on this one, I got the garlic getting this the garlic infused. I'm gonna cut this light on. I don't know why I ain't got the light on. There you go. As you can see off inside of there. I got that garlic getting that olive oil garlic infused real quick. And then as soon as I go to adding the onion and meat, I'm gonna hit right back at you. Hey, hey. I'm back at you. So I got the chicken tenders and the chicken and dewy sa sausage. I'm getting ready to cut that up right now. Transfer, I'm gonna cut the chicken and dewy sausage up first. And I'm gonna cut the chicken, what are those? Chicken tenderloins is what the recipe calls for and that's what I got. So I'm gonna cook, cut that up 
and get right back right back with you before we get ready to start adding everything to the pot and putting it all together because I got everything else right there on deck ready I also opened up my can of diced tomatoes diced tomatoes and I got a bowl right there of okra a cup of okra so let me get this chopped up and I'll be right back with you hey 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 look here back at you I came back I cut up my chicken breast my tender turkey I mean chicken tenderloin and I got up my and Dewey's chicken and Dewey sausage cut up. Don't worry, I didn't mix them. Both of them is chicken. This one's raw. I cut it up afterwards on that side of the board. I'm gonna add this in here and add this to, to the pot. But right now, I got my olive oil off inside of there. Garlic infused, I got, got that going. I'm gonna let that warm back up because I had to go get and buy me some uh, tomato paste. Right here is a little tomato paste. I'm gonna squeeze it out of that because it has to be in the recipe. So I'm getting ready to add my onions. Let me set my camera up so y'all can watch me while I do it. Oh, um, all right. Yeah, that's a pretty good view right there. So I'm getting ready to add my onion. Boom, right here. Can you see that? Can I see that? Oh. Uh, I ain't got a good angle, but that's okay. But anyway, I'm adding the onions. Put the onions off in there. You gotta let the onions go first, he says. Well, I always do that too, because onions take a little longer than the other vegetables. But I'm gonna lace the onions up in there. Put those all in there. A few pieces of bell pepper fell in there, because I got it all cut up on the same, the same board. But that's the blunt of all the onions right there. So now, we're gonna let these onions cook. Turn the fire up on a medium. Let them get that little flavor in there. I'm gonna sprinkle a little crushed, little crushed pepper in there. Put a little crushed pepper off in there. I'm gonna let you see that. I'll pick the camera up now, you can see it. Boy, it's starting to smell real good. I know that. I ain't using no salt because I don't like a lot of salt. I got to watch my hypertension or <laughs> in the words of the doctor, your hypertension. <laughs> and everybody else's words, high blood pressure. But uh, let me get that, cut the fire up, let those get going. And I got everything else kind of laid out so it can make it a lot, make the transition of cooking it easier. So we're going to go over here. I already got you. You know, bell pepper, celery, and onion right there. I use the red one, be a little fancy. I got your okra right here, a cup of okra. My tomatoes, I'm gonna put in there, diced tomatoes. I got, what kind did I get? That's what I got. Hunts, that basil and garlic and oregano, a little flavor. Got my shrimp in there, sitting in a little water, to add to it. Right here, there's the chicken. And Dewey sausage, regular chicken tenderloin. Oh, and I'm gonna be doing some grilling too. Got some old thick cut steak right there. Thick cut ribeyes right there. I'm gonna throw them on the, on the grill too. And don't forget, hold it. Wait just a minute. Hold it. Let's look at that. Bam. Bet you don't know what that is. You ain't from Oklahoma. You probably ain't ain't hip to the way that's cut and stuck in there. Let me let me give y'all a look. I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it. I ain't even gonna tell you what it is. When I put it on the grill, you'll figure it out. Let me turn it over one more time. Let me let you know. You can't figure that out? I'll let you have to figure that one out. I ain't gonna give you the sauce on that one. I'm grilling that too, right there. Look at it, it's starting to sizzle. Getting that little flavor going. That's right. Boy, it smells good too. Man, I'm gonna have to do that more often. I need to get some of that branch of vine because I put a little, uh, Try to make my own uh, garlic infused olive oil. Put like two or three tablespoons of olive oil and I busted open a couple of garlic cloves, like three cloves, and put them in there and let them cook and brown real, real slow. And man, it got the whole house smelling like straight garlic. I mean, real good too. But yeah, we got that going. So let me get that cooking and get down. I'm gonna add a little more pepper. And then I'll get back with y'all in just a second. All right, y'all, let me get ready. Let 
great to throw in this chicken and do it. Put it off in there. Hold on. Almost oh, it's all of it in there. Yes, yeah, sir. Looking good, looking good. I almost skipped a step. I supposed to brown the meat and stuff first. I got in such a hurry. And that garlic was smelling so good. Man. Oh, let me set that down. Let y'all get a good look down off in there at it cooking. Yeah. Now I got, oh, it smells good, man. That garlic off in there. Oh, boy, I tell you. I'm going to let that cook and get a little brown. And then once that gets brown, I'm going to add the chicken to it. And add the chicken and let the chicken cook. I'll be right back. As soon as I as soon as I get that chicken off in there, I'll be right, I'll be right back. You got steam on. Yeah, me. well I'm back at you. And uh these uh these sausages are done, these Andouille chicken sausages, they're done. So I'm taking them out. Taking them all out of there. Putting them on a little plate. So Get those cooked up. And get them all out of here. Let me set this camera down where you guys can see it. There you go. I'll put it on this side. I think that steam is bothering the wind. Can't see off in it as well, but you, you know you get the picture. Hold on. Get everything out of here and I'll hold it back. So there we go. It's the last of it. Last couple of pieces. Last couple of pieces. Let me get it out again. Hold on. Ugh. Well, I got a taste of piece of it. I need a little splash of olive oil in there. We have a little splash of olive oil. So, got this chicken right here on this cutting board. I'm just gonna dump it. Boom, that's all of it. Dump it in there. Cut the fire down a little bit. Let that start cooking. That chicken start cooking, as you can see. The chicken is in there brown. Get it in there brown real quick. Yeah, I mean, brown that. I gotta put a little of that crack, my favorite, that cracked black pepper on it. There you go. Yeah. Cook that. These don't take long. You know, that little white meat don't take long to cook. You let that sit simmer and cook. That ain't gonna take long. Once that get done, I'm gonna take that out. Next step is to get all my vegetables and stuff sauteing and going. And then once I get my all my vegetables back in there, I'll let you I'll be right back with you guys. So give me a sec. Alright, I'm back with that. Got this uh all the chicken brown real good. So right at being done, you can look down in there for it steaming up from the steam. All those chicken tenderloin bites. I got them all cut about the same size, sort of cooked. I'm making it a little browner because I like mine maybe a little browner than the, other, the average does. But you cook yours how you want to. That's what he says. So that's what I'm doing. They're almost done. I'm going to give them another minute off in there to cook. Once they finish, I'll let you get down in there deep. Oh, look, it's fogging up the camera. Let me back up. Back up. Fog out, fog out, fog out. There you go. It's that steam coming from it. So it's almost done. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna get all my veggies in there and we'll go to the next step and I'll hit back with you guys in a sec. I'm back. Put take all this chicken out of here. Put it on the plate with the uh sausage, the chicken and dooey sausage. Gotta keep giving it an angle because that steam gets fogs up the lens but you can see the process 
let me, I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to put it right here. And I don't think it'll steam it up from there. You can kind of see me getting it out of there. Got to put it all on the plate. Hey, I ain't perfect. Don't worry, my hands are clean. I'm eating this. You ain't anyway. So, it's going to be fire. Ooh, it's hot too. Should have got a better spoon to take it out with instead of the spatula. But, uh, I'll make it work. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. There we go. Got it out. Let me get that last out of there. Mm. I got it sitting in a plate right here. That's what it looked like. I took it all out. So now, getting ready to add in the veggies. Hold on just a sec. Add in some veggies. As y'all can see, going in with all the veggies. I already did the onions. I got a little ahead of myself. So, I'm going to throw these in there. I took the onions out. I got a little ahead of myself. And I did the onions, but I took them out and put them in a separate bowl. And uh, now I'm going to take everything off the cutting board and add all this. All the bell peppers and celery off in there. Now I got the rest of the onion. Put those all in the bowl. Got them down in there. Boy, they hit that heat and smell good. Smell good instantly. Yeah, there we go. Here we got that going. All that, get all that goodness off the bottom of there. See all that there? All that'll be off once these vegetables sweat and get going good. I'm gonna let them cook for a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna add my, I'm gonna crush a little pepper up in here again. Then I'm gonna add, what did he tell me that? Oh, tomato paste. Then once I add the tomato paste, after the tomato paste, we're gonna add the, excuse me, the can of diced tomatoes. And then we're gonna go from there. So y'all give me a minute. All right, all right, all right, I'm back at you. Got this vegetable saute down pretty good, pretty translucent, like I like them now. A few of them are still a little crunchy. But now I'm ready to add the tomato paste. I messed around and opened up two of them. I opened the can and the squeeze jar. So I'm gonna grab the squeeze the can. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of the tomato paste right there. I'm gonna add this a jag more. Well, I added that as you can see. So now we're gonna stir that in. You got that going. Now I'm supposed to use two cups of stock, so I'm gonna let this get a little translucent. No, no, next is the uh, tomatoes. I'm gonna add the tomatoes. So let me get this all mixed in here together real good. Let me reach back here. Got the tomatoes right here. Oh, let me scoop that over on it. You guys will be able to see it. Recipe coming along. Man, it's smelling. Woo! I'm ready to eat. It ain't even already ready. It's smelling really good. I'm gonna let that tomato paste cook down in there for a little bit. Let it cook. Get up in there real good. And I got my got my can of hunts ready to go in there, but I'm gonna wait a second and let that tomato paste cook for a little bit and as soon as it get cooked in there I'm gonna add my can of diced tomatoes next. all right I'm back next step add the tomato diced tomato put that in there stir it up it cooled everything down too just like he said it would on this eye here so we can see. I already turned the fire on that eye right there. So, try a new eye. So, I cooked that. The temperature went down real quick too because it was, 
that was kind of cold. That can was a little cold. So we're gonna let that come back up to temperature. And once that comes back up to temperature, I'm gonna uh, add, matter of fact, I skipped the step, I believe. When it comes up to temperature, it's, which it did pretty fast, so I got the temperature up a little high, I need to cut it down. Let me add the okra, it's one cup of okra. That's all that I like, so turn that down a little bit. Stir that around in there. Oh man, it smells amazing, amazing. Whoa, it smells really intensified. Gotta pull the camera back a little bit so you can see the steam coming off of it. But it's coming together exactly like he said. I'm telling you, this ain't my recipe, y'all. I'm following a recipe from a, a, a somebody on YouTube. And uh, I've had a, ate a couple of his other recipes and everything always turns out on point. Like, right? So I just figured today is Easter. Today is Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. I hope all your prayers and wishes come true. You know, whatever you believe in, that's your belief. Uh, I'm not gonna go there, but like I said, just happy Easter and this is my Sunday meal. I'm getting it together, slowly but surely. I also got a couple steaks I'm going to put out on the grill. Let me turn around real quick and show you those. Ooh, already seasoned them. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let me cut my light on so you get a good look. Back down that. Look at that. Good look. Yeah, that's a ribeye. Big, thick cut ribeye. And if you don't know, if you know what that is, you know what that is. Anybody know me know what that is. You'll see that at the end. This right here. This is most definite. It's already seasoned up. A little garlic, fresh cracked pepper. A sprinkle of salt and a little lowers. Yes, indeed. So, I'll get back right back with you. Get ready to add the next step to... Let me look over here real quick. Cooking. That is cooking. I gotta pull it back. That steam rolling. Man, all that goodness and that farm coming right off the bottom from that can of can of uh diced tomatoes. Yeah, that's cooking good. Mm-hmm. All the, all the juice out of there. Let that catch up, catch back up, simmer and catch back up real good. Once that does that, I guess I'll add the chicken stock and my meat. And then we got a couple more ingredients, but of course I got to add, hold on, you gotta see it. I don't think it's enough of it. Fresh black pepper, black pepper. Boom. There you go. So I gotta get out my bay leaf and a dash of cayenne pepper. So let me grab that right now. In fact, I can grab that hole in the camera. Uh, here's my bay leaf. Let me get a couple of those out. And got some cayenne in here somewhere. Oh yeah, let me show y'all what the rice turned out like. Throw that in the way. I made, oh, let me get back off of that camera. Off of there. I made that rice like he said, and look how fluffy that rice looks. Man, that all oh, that smell of that garlic popped up when I done it. Let me, look at, look how fluffy that rice is. Just, boy, look at her, just good and fluffy. Just, you can almost count the grains it look like. Just fluffed up. Look at that. Just barely touching it and come apart. That two to one ratio with that rice and just cut it off and let it do its thing. It turned out good. It turned out real good. Real good. So this, oh and by the way, I want to say thank you to my daughter. She gave me this Dutch oven for my birthday. Thank you Kelsey. 
I appreciate that. See, I'm using it. Most definitely. So, let me get out this bay leaf. Let me put the camera right here. Let you guys watch while I put this. Hold on. I know it's a lot of shaking and tearing on, but. Hold on. It's steaming up right there, so. I put it right here. Let you see. See it steam. I gotta get. Take out a couple of bay leaves. I'm not gonna put them in now, but I wanna take them out and have them. Take out two bay leaves. That's one. That's the couple bay leaves I'm gonna use. Set those right there. I gotta get me fine through my seasoning. Find some cayenne pepper. Oh, here we go. Right up front. I'm, on, I'm not gonna put a lot of cayenne. That's a couple spreads, well, maybe one more, that's enough. So that'll do that. Put the seasoning back, let me shut, the, let me shut this. Now, let me stir that in there real good. Okay. Yeah, it's looking good, boy, it's smelling. Ooh. I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to eat. Ready? Smelling like a winner to me. All right. So let let that go for a sec. Hold on. All right. Now I'm gonna add my I'm gonna add my chicken stock. See that I'm pouring in my chicken stock. You can see I'm gonna use all of this on those whole little carton of containers. I used all of that. I got another can over here just in case it's not enough. That cools it down real good right there. Just in case, that's, ooh yeah. Now we looking like something. Pick that camera up, okay. I think I ain't forgot nothing. I'm, I'm trying to remember it to a T, but this is how he done it. And man, it looks so good so far. Since I got that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my couple bay leaves. We gotta get that flavor in there. And I'm also getting ready to go ahead and add all of my meat, my meat in there that I cooked earlier. I'm gonna hold the camera so you can see it going in. There you go. That's all of it. Get it off there. Oh. There. Got it all off that plate. Got the uh, bay leaves submerged in there. Oh, yeah, that's looking real good. So now, we got that going like that. Looking very good, smelling amazing. Boy, bay leaf right there, there's the bay leaf. Push that back down. So now I guess I'll put the lid on it, let it come up to temperature, grab my lid. Let that come back up to temperature. And uh, I'll let that come, turn it back around, let that come back up to temperature. And after that, I'm gonna, uh, Let's get ready to throw these steaks right here on the grill. And if you don't know what that is yet, I ain't gonna tell you. You gotta figure that out. I'll be back when the grill get fired up here in a minute. I'm looking outside. I think I need to get out there to, to get it going. I'll be back at you. Hot sec. Look at that big fat steak right there. Looking good. I'm back. I'm back. Let me take this lid off. Ooh, that steam bubbling, bubbling up. I cut the fire down. Let me cut it back up a little bit. I messed, cut the wrong eye off what I did. So, you ready to add this? There's a shrimp all off in there. So we down to the last, last little bit of time on her. Stir that off in there real good. Ooh, man, look at it. Starting to absorb it and everything. It's curling up already. 
stuff is good and hot. I'm gonna let that cook for two or three minutes, let that shrimp get done. And we getting ready to plate up a bowl of this, just so you can see it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Looking scrum billy -umptious. Put this lid back on. Got me in the kitchen sweating. Hot. <laughs> Be back right in a minute. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Guess who's back? We're going to look at this because I think we're about done. I'm ready to pop it up and see. Ooh, that lid is hot. Should have used my towel to grab that. Man. All right, this bubbling and boiling. Looking good. I got to keep the camera back far because that steam. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that shrimp. That shrimp curled up looking good off in there. Boom. Ooh, see it fogged up the camera on me. Look at that. It went away, though. Don't worry about it. Ooh, man. Smells amazing. Look at that. You can see everything in there. Chicken. Look at that big spoonful I got right there. Chicken. You got the chicken, the sausage, the okra, the shrimp, everything. Look, almost every spoon I grab is just like that. Wow. Man, he wasn't kidding. Smells whew, good. I'm going to let the top cook off of it for another about four or five minutes to kind of let some of the liquid, a little bit of the liquid go down. But I, I like it with a little bit of liquid because I like to pour it over the top of the rice. Let me take this lid off. You know, I got the rice right there I made. I made that rice first. It's just so nice and fluffy. It's nice and fluffy and everything just... I got I almost count the kernels. I got it so cool. I'm kind of, I did pretty good with that. And uh, I'm going to let this simmer. I turn it down. If someone was on a medium, I'm going to turn it down to about a, a two. And just let it simmer for a little bit. Take off just a little bit of that water, a little bit of the liquid. Chicken stock, take that out just a little. And then I'm going to cut it down, cut it off, and just let it cool a little bit. And then I'm gonna, when I plate it up, I'm going to let y'all check it out. But in the meantime, that's the first portion of dinner. Now we're going to bounce over to this. Yes, indeed. We got the big boy over here. Yes, sir. Two big fat ribeyes. Yes, indeed. You see something missing. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's out on the grill. I already put it out there. These right here, I'm gonna cook them a medium well. One of them is gonna be a medium. Mine is gonna be a medium well. I really gonna be probably close to well done. But that one right there, I'm gonna do medium because somebody wants it a little red. Not me, but that's what I'm gonna cook it at. So give me a minute, I'll let y'all see me throw it on my little old grill and we'll be back at you in a second. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm out at the grill, look at that. I'm getting ready to put that on. I told you, I already got that out there. If you know, you know. You from Oklahoma, you know what that is. I tell you, it's got red around it. That's all I can tell you. Mine is beef. I got the coals nice and hot like I like them. Ooh, I don't know if I need to be putting the camera that close. That lens costs too much. But I'm getting ready to slide this ribeye on there. It's a boneless ribeye. Put that on there. See that sear? sear? I'm going to take this one. Lay it across there that way, that way, and boom. I'm gonna let them cook for a minute. And uh, like I say, I think the back one, that's gonna be, uh, that back one's gonna be mine, medium well, maybe right close to well done. And this other one gonna have a little pink in it, which I don't get down like that, but you know, somebody else requested that. So. That right there is one of my favorites. This right here is another one. So let me let that top down and let it sear. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, it's out of there. I'll be right back. I'm back. So we get ready. I heard sizzling. Whoo, it's flaming. Just like I wanted. Woo. Boy, look at that. Charge. Just like I like it. Oh, I messed that one up. Let me get that over there a little bit. A little too much char. Let me cut it down. Get that heat. I had to slam it. Get that heat down. Lord, that got in my eye. 
Mm. Let me cut some of that heat off. Let it sit in there too long. That's all right. I want my medium anyway. Let me get it back up. Oh, man, my thing came up. There you go. But, uh, yeah, this one here. That's how they like it. Put that over there. Got that one good and charred. That's all I like. That's mine. So I like it that way. This one, ugh. Pink. Ooh, I know that that damn smoke got my eye toe up. But we gonna let that see what the temperature is. 300, 325 look like. That's good enough though. Be right back. right back at it. Look at her. Steaks looking good, looking good. Got the little char marks on that. Woo! Wow. Look at that, look at that. And of course, one of my favorites. Come on, man. Y'all got to know. I had to turn it sideways before you come back at it. You got to know what that is. If you're from Oklahoma, you know what that is. If you don't, shame on you. You're not a griller. Let me die this down and cut that fire down. I just had to show y'all that one more time steak one of the steaks is almost one of the steaks is almost done mine we ain't ready yet i like a little char a little burnness on mine so i'm, I'm gonna have it on one side the other side is gonna be perfect so let me uh tend to this steak and i gotta go turn the fire down on that other meal that i'm cooking and i got a salad to hook up but i ain't gonna bore y'all with cutting up no salad so i'll be back at you in a minute Looky here, looky here. Yes, indeed. Had to put the. I ain't gonna tell you. You'll figure it out. That over there. Turn it over. Get a little more sear on it, cause that's almost done. Let me see. Yeah, that's about where they want it. Mine still getting a little char on it. I like mine that way. I also got. I got to. I gotta go ahead and tell all y'all that ain't from Oklahoma, and y'all don't know how we get down. I'm from Tulsa, and I love it. This is beef. Bologna, yes, indeed, we eat beef bologna. A lot of people eat the kind that got pork and all that, but me, I eat straight beef, so I eat beef bologna. You see, I got a beef entree for Easter today, yes, indeed. So that's what that is that's beef bologna. I wrap it, season it, a little pepper and garlic on it, a little Lowry's, I won't lie, and uh, it's popping, so it's almost ready. I think the next time y'all see this, y'all gonna see me plating this up with a salad, and I'm gonna show you that, show you that uh, jambalaya that I made from smoking and grilling with AB's recipe. And I got the most definitely go to Instagram and tag him in it, and y'all do the same if y'all make it. But uh, for right now, let me get, look at this again. Look like this about ready to come off of there. Let me touch it one more time. Yeah, that's that's the way they like it. So I'm ready to take this off. And I had to let y'all see that one more time, but this here is bologna. Bomb. Most definitely. That's how we eat it. Grew up eating it. Thanks, Mom. I love you. <laughs> it's over. Well, well, look at her. Fresh out. Fresh out. Fresh out. Nice steak. Let me put a light, turn the light on up here. There you go. That's that one that got that red in it. That's that one that's... Ooh. Yes, sir. Nice and good. That's the bologna. I'm going to open that here in a second. Let me open it up. It's hot, so let me open it and cut it. I'll let you see it on my plate. Okay, check it out. I cut it up. This is what that bologna look like. Hey, big fella. How you doing? What you want? Go ahead and get you whatever you want out the icebox. Go ahead. Let me finish the video. That's my little man right there. He always around me, so... He ain't got to worry about it. He probably grabbed a, his sippy cup or something out of there. Let him do his own thing. And uh, right here is the gumbo jalaya, jambalaya. We got the rice. Looking scrum dilly -umptious. And I made a little small salad to go with this. Got to have some roughage. So next step is to plate up and let you see my Sunday. Easter, my Sunday Easter dinner. So the next time you see it, I'm gonna be sitting at the table. 
with a glass of something to drink, a bottle of water, and all this plated up, and letting y'all know that if I can cook like this, y'all can cook like this. This is just a recipe I follow, and of course the grilling is on me, you know what I'm saying? But it's a recipe I follow, and the food, I, I already did a little sampling and taste testing. It tastes bomb. It's exactly how I like it. And I'm going to plate it up, take a few pictures, post it on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. I think it's Gordon Reed underscore, Gordon underscore Reed 3637. Uh, I'll probably change the name later, but that's where you can follow me at on Instagram. And, uh, man, just just hit that like button, like, comment, sh share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend. Y'all going to check me out, man. I'll be back to my foodie thing later on in the week or whatever. I get, you know, pick this camera up when I, ain't, when I got time from when I'm not working. I, I most definitely will be back at you for sure. So let me plate this up, and then uh, I'll be right back to show you. And we can end this video. I'm gone. Look at her. Woo, look good. Well, well, well. Here's my dinner. There go that gumbo, gumbo jambalaya. Ribeye. Nice salad. Got a little home style ranch there. Bought some, a nice bottle of cold bottle of water. And everything. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Going down, man. It's most definitely going down. Well, as you can see, let me fix that. Let me see. As you can see, y'all can see I've been a little, a little hot, a little sweating. Been out there cooking. Today is today is uh, Sunday. It's Easter, and uh, I just decided to cook a little meal, you know, celebrate. And you know, it's my. I always grew up eating a, a real nice, hearty Sunday Sunday dinner. And the day I felt like it was a day for me to do that today too. So uh I appreciate y'all, you know, for my last video giving me, you know, kind of running it up and everything. I, I greatly appreciate the support. Uh, you know, just like, comment, share. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It ain't gonna hurt you. And I most definitely appreciate it. I'll be back during the week. You know, I got a busy week of work this week, but uh I'm gonna slide some videos in, uh, probably, you know, toward the week, toward the weekend. Guys, be expecting me to hit back, and uh, you know, until that time comes again, I really appreciate. I can't say it enough. It's been a little overwhelming the first few videos. People, you know, the response I've been getting, and I greatly appreciate it. If we can note this, that hey, anything you set your mind to do. You may not see it directly, and somebody next to you most definitely can't see it. But if the, if the man, and this is Easter, if God has a plan for you, you can't alter his plan. It's going to happen for you, that's for sure. So, God bless y'all. I appreciate the love and support. I'm going to let y'all get one more look at this plate I'm about to devour right there. That's that. I made that, but that's smoking and grilling AB's recipe. It tastes great. I went through by step by step, like he said. Y'all go give him a follow and check him out. He's a good dude. And this right here, this steak is going down. Mine is medium well. Ooh, just like I like it. Got my water and my ranch. Because I'm a ranch, I'm a ranch kind of guy. So, but uh I appreciate y'all. And uh once again, thank you, YouTube. Thanks for uh checking out my channel. And like I always say, another day alive is another day to shine. It's your boy Gordon from Gordon's World. G World Entertainment. You dig? I'm gone. Hello, world. Hey, I almost forgot something. Look at her. I had to put my bologna on there. Yes, indeed. Nice and tasty. Now you see it. I went to leave the video and said hold up i better clip this back in there and then i end the video after this clip there's that baloney yes sir if you from oklahoma you know about it that's it smoking and grilling with ab recipe is fire yes indeed check that out nice dinner yes sir